August 13, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 536 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. The Kremlin is pushing hard around the Oskil, with four different ground assault locations near Kupiansk. The 14th of August will be a Ukrainian national day of mourning for those murdered in Kherson as a result of the invasion. Ukraine has pushed the Kremlin's combat line past the town of Eurozhain, continuing gains made over the last two months. Dnieper Line. Two Kremlin munition storage depots were destroyed overnight. Ukraine has released images of a GRU major captured at Kozachi Lahiri working with Ukraine to identify Kremlin outposts on the left bank. As noted, the 14th of August, 2023 will be a day of mourning for those of Kherson who have died in the invasion. Zaporizhia Front. Fighting at Robotine continues to be heavy, neither side claiming any line changes in the last day. Ukraine has made large gains at the Morki Yoli in the last month. What you're seeing on screen is the lines of contact and contested zones, starting about a month ago, on July 14, 2023. As you can see, Ukraine continues to make considerable progress. When placed against the size of their opponent, this is nothing short of heroic efforts, true bravery, and great patience and skill, by Ukraine. East Front, Donetsk. The Kremlin continued to throw their boys away in Marienka and Avdiivka. Kremlin glide bombing was particularly heavy well behind the Ukrainian front line. No line changes reported by either side. Bakhmut area. The Kremlin's mobilized meat waves have taken to multiple attacks per day around Klishchivka, Andiivka, and the small city of Kurdyamivka. Oskil border front. As noted, this front absorbed the majority of Kremlin attacks in the last day. One attack by the Kremlin was west of Svartov, and three were made near Kupiansk. The small town of Sinkivka is currently being assaulted from two directions from the Kremlin's troops. Northern border. The Kharkiv Arblast border took heavy shelling over the last day. It is claimed a drone, possibly Ukrainian, was flown into a large apartment complex in Belgrade. Shelling in Sumy Arblast appears to have been primarily in the southern border areas. Black Sea. The Ukrainians have noted that it appears the Kremlin's naval ships are intending to use merchant ships as fleet cover. The Ukrainian Navy has reported that in the last day it has killed 19 Kremlin soldiers, and defeated some 36 quadcopter drones. Ukraine World Related. When the world says things like, unintended escalation, let them remember that this war was started with the idea that the Kremlin could invade a neighbor in the name of Russian nationalist expansionism, and use nukes as their defense against anyone else standing with their intended victim. 1,000 Ukrainian Marines training with the UK Special Forces have returned to Ukraine to join in defense and liberation of their lands. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.